classically placid and intrepid word indeed. Its usage is pervasive yet elusive. One needs only employ it thrice fold in a conversation and it becomes a standard, no longer drawing attention to itself, an affirmation through reformation. It's not predicated on complex thought alone, yet it entices a recipient to feel they are heard and welcome. Let me explain. When I say indeed, it always follows a question that requires thought. It's better suited than an um, yet not as concrete as a yes or a no, can equally bring great anxiety. When I say indeed, the objectivity beyond my flesh abdicates a moment for a split second for a guest to interpret what I mean. It's nearly guaranteed that uttering it without breaking eye contact forces the other to believe the awkwardness is of their own doing. Beyond yes or no indeed seems profound and simple. It's zeitgeist of language. Indeed, through its indifference, draws the true disposition of a person to the surface in an instant. The word is versatile and simple, and it's one of the few words I can say I truly love.